Hey guys, what's up? DK here, shooting this from a crib. Uh, sadly, I was not able to make it, or will not be able to make it to the Google Meet tomorrow. Um, and I sadly also was not able to make it um, to school the last couple of days and time to put my artifact uh, box project together with my partner, Ryan. But I do have my artifacts with me and I wanted to share a couple things with you guys about these and some things that I learned throughout the lesson or the unit. First thing I'm gonna share, this This is bigger than it would have been if it was in my box, um, but I figured it is, and I know it's not going in my box, so I made it bigger. Um, it is a news article. Um, this is a baseball article, obviously, Babe Ruth. Um, this article was a very famous article, reason being whether you like baseball or not, even now in today's day, you know who Babe Ruth is. This was important because it was when he switched from the Red Sox to the Yankees. Um, he had one of the biggest contributions to baseball, for sure, even to this day, I'd say top five players. Um, he was known for his home runs. Um, highest in the season was 60, finishing with over 700 in his career. Home runs were super unusual before Babe Ruth. And then he came along and he made it his thing. That's really what made him famous. And uh, one of the, I'd say, the biggest contribution to baseball um, in the 1920, 1930 area, and even after that. So my next artifact, which is kind of basic, um, but it's uh, a baseball, and it's this one is representing though, the Negro League. Um, Negro League was a league for black people for baseball because they were not able to play in the major baseball league with the whites. Um, it was pretty much of a way of them saying, hey, we are athletic too, and we can play the sport. We will make our own league to show you that we can do so. Um, sooner or later, a couple people, one person, who some people may know, Jackie Robinson, was one of the guys that contributed to, in the end, helping the white and black people come together and sooner or later being able to play baseball together. But this was very important. I had no clue that the Negro League was even a thing. Um, Negro League, obviously, since they weren't allowed to play with uh, the whites in the major league, didn't get it as good, I guess you could say, as people in the major baseball league. Um, for example, you were making, if you were a rookie in the Negro League, you were making $75 a season, or a year, I should say a year. If you were a star, then you were making about $375 a year. Um, but for the major league, no matter what, you were making about $300 to $2,200 a year, which is a huge difference. And if you put that in day's form, Negro League, you made a dollar, dollar fifty a day. Uh, major league, you made off fifteen dollars a day, so you can clearly see how differently they were treated back then. Um, yeah, huge difference. I had no clue about that, so I wanted to share that. Last thing, my last thing, <laughs> horse riding. Uh, I did this because I realized that not a lot of people that even Mr. Labosa, not a lot of people did um, horse racing. I shouldn't say horse riding, horse horse racing for their projects. So I wanted to incorporate this because this was actually a huge thing back then. Um, horse racing was started a lot because governments actually wanted to find ways to increase the revenue just throughout, um, you know, like making more money. And once they started horse racing, it like skyrocketed completely. Tracks were filled all over the place, 75% increase. It ended up working, even though they didn't know if it would, it ended up working and it was great. Um, one of the most famous horse racers, horse riders was called Man of War, um, great athlete. And he won 20 out of 21 races, which earned him about $250,000 back then, which is about $3.2 million in today's money. A lot of money. That's a lot of money. And in fact, he was ranked one of the best athletes of the year along with Babe Ruth. They were next to each other. Um, and were, yeah, they were ranked best athletes of the year. So those are my three artifacts just to share quickly because I'm already at five minutes. I want to let Ryan do his thing if he hasn't already. So appreciate it, kiddos. Thanks for watching.